Right, here's a conundrum for you. How do you paint white flowers in watercolour when you are painting on white paper and you are not allowed to use white paint? Hmm. So I will show you how you do that. Right, so here we are, I've got a magnolia. Um, so there you are, you've got a white flower on um, white paper. So the way you um, give it some shape is you've got to put some shadows in. Now, what I suggest um, is something like, oh God, my favorite colors here, which is um, French ultramarine burnt sienna. I've put them there for you. Uh, but on, more on the side of the um, ultramarine blue, which is gonna give you quite a nice cool gray color. Now you've got two options here. You can either wet the paper, so let's just do a petal at a time. So if you, I could wet this, this is just water. Um, um, and I just wet it very, very carefully within the outline of the petal. Um, and then what I can do is get some of this ultramarine blue and burnt sienna, and I can just put on a few shadows. It starts to just give it a little bit of shape. There is another way, it's a way I prefer actually, and that's to again mix up ultramarine burnt sienna and to do it on dry paper. I think you've got a lot more control. So let me give you show you that one then. So here we are, that's on dry paper. Now you look that looks quite dark, but immediately before it dries, go in with a damp brush and just kind of waggle it around a bit. Um and you can see that gives you that. A uh, little bit of shadow there. You see already that's starting to push this petal forward. So if I do that again on another one, so let's say if you wanted something like that, oops, give me more blue, I think, into that, like that. And you see that's too um, fierce. So let's just, with a damp brush, let's just wiggle it around a little bit. Um, so I say I prefer that method. I prefer to do it on dry paper and then just put a damp brush into it. But it, is, it still isn't popping the um, the flower out. So <coughs> the way you pop the flower out is you, you've got to paint negatively. You've got to paint behind it. So if I do that, again, I'm just going to use these colours. I'll show you different colours you can use. So um, let me go like that. If I do that, and that's painting the background rather than the flower. Again, that's on dry paper. And then I can just wiggle um, a bit of water into that. If you're feeling very brave, you can also just cover that up over a minute. You can also just give it a bit of, give it a bit of that. That was quite nice. Um, just to bed it in a little bit like that. You've also got the green of the leaves, which are also going to help you pop this forward. So um, I love this colour. It's Perilean Green. I've written it there for you. It's a Winsor & Newton artist colour. You can't get it in a student colour. But how gorgeous is this? So you can see that's, if I do a leaf, that there, that leaf there, and again, I like to, this is on dry paper again, just I like to soften it a little bit. Um, and you can take that colour, get rid of the hair, you can take that colour down there, so it's just got there, just again, soften it a little bit like that. I'll show you one that I've done previously because it might make more sense. Here we are. This is um, exactly the same flower. Now, the reason I've used, I haven't used ultramarine blue and I haven't used burnt sienna. I've used purple and green. Um, and that's because it was from this picture here, which is the thistle and um, the magnolia. So it makes sense really to use the colours that you've already got on your palette. So in this case, it's purple and it's green. Um, in that case, it might be um, blues, if you, and, but you've also got the green of the leaf. So again, I've used the green of the leaf. And again, I'll just do a little bit of that on this before we go. Um, you're looking for really places like that where one um, petal is overlapping another. So just pick around it like that. And again, soften it with a brush. And you just work your way around petal at a time and you'll end up with something like that. Um, so what you're doing is you're painting negatively. You're painting all the way round the flower and you're just popping it forward. And that's it. It's very easy. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.